In Python, string is sequence of characters. String literals are defined inside two double quotes. In the example below, we create two string, first using single quotes, and another with double quotes. Then store them in in variable s1 ad and another variable s2. We can assign multiline string using three double quotes or three single quotes. Notice we can also use triple quotes to define string. In this example we print both the string stored in variable a, and b. In this example, our string takes only one line, but it can take multiple lines. As output, both the string, a, and b are printed. Indexing in the string is similar to list. Forward indexing starts from 0 and negative indexing starts from minus 1, but in reverse direction. You can see the mapping below. String are immutable. That means, unlike list, we can't change individual elements in the string. In this example, we'll change the value of list element present at index 0, by overwriting it, and print the list. As output, we get list with updated value of the element present at index 0. Same way, in next example, we'll try to change the first character of the string. But, it will cause error, telling, str object does not support item assignment. That is the one of the difference between string and list. String slicing also act in same manner, as it did for list. We can pass three parameter, start, end and step value, inside square brackets. In this example, first we'll store our string in a variable. Then slice our string and print that string. Our code contains different way string can be sliced, you can see values start, end and step will take in comments. Also notice last print statement. We passed negative one as step parameter. It will cause our string to reverse. As output, all the sliced strings are printed. Notice, the last string printed is in reverse order, because we passed negative step parameter. These are some important string methods present in Python. Capitalize method is used to make first character of the string to uppercase. Count method takes a character as parameter, and count the number of occurrence of that character in that string. It can take optional start, and end parameters also. Ends with is used to check for presence of the specified suffix in the string. Find method is used to find index of any substring from any string. It can take optional start and end parameter. Format method is used to return formatted string. Index method is similar to find. Isalnum method is used to check if all the characters in the string is alphabets or not. Istajit is used to check if all the digits in the string is digits or not. Is lower is used to check if all the characters are in lower case or not. Is numeric method is used to check if all the characters are numeric or not. Is upper method is used to check if all the characters in string are in uppercase or not. Join method is used to concatenate string from the iterable. Lower method is used to convert characters of the string into lower case. Replace method is used to replace all the occurring of any substring with new substring. Split method is used to separate string into list of multiple string. Starts with method is used to test presence of any prefix. Strip is used to remove white space at both the end. In this example, we'll first store a string in variable s. Then use capitalize method to capitalize first character in s. Then we use count method to count the presence of string he. Next, we'll use find method to find index of substring ho. Then we'll use isalnum method on string store in s, and hello string. At last we'll use is lower method on string s. In output, first line will have first character, h, capital. In next line, one will be printed, which is number of occurrence of substring he. Then, false will be printed because our string does not ends with ou. Next, six will be printed, which is index of substring ho. Then, false will be printed, as all the characters are not alphabets. In next two lines, true will be printed, because, string hello contains all alphabets and all the characters in string s is lowercase. In this example, we'll use is digit, and is numeric method on string which contains all the digits. Then we'll call is upper and lower method on string which contain capital A and B. 
as output, we get 3 true and lowercase ab. In this example, first we'll replace c with 2 capital C in string nice. Then we'll use starts with method to check presence of n prefix in string. Next two lines demonstrate the use of strip method. First line in output, we get a string nicce. Then, true is printed as nice starts with n. Also notice how strip method clears the width e space at both ends. In this example, we'll use split method to divide the string. Separator will be space. Let's print the object we obtained from split method. From output you can see, we get list containing strings, which are separate. Now, let's use same list which we get from split, and join each element, with space separator, and see what we get. Notice, we'll get same string back. In last two examples, we saw working of split and join methods. String formatting is used to format string in Python, list in other languages. It adds elements in the string between two curly braces, if they are present in the string. Currently we'll discuss one example of string formatting. If you want to learn more, you can go to pyformat.info website. This website contains great examples of string formatting, and comparison between new and old style string formatting. We are going to discuss new style string formatting. In this example, we'll use format method to add name and age, between the string. We'll pass the values that we need to add in the string as parameter. As output, we get two lines, with name, and age changed. List comprehension is elegant way of defining and creating list from existing sequence. It takes a value, which will be added to the list, for each value in the sequence, if it satisfies the condition. In first line, we'll add i power 2 in the list, for i in range 10. Then, in second line, we'll add i power 2 in the list, for i in range 10, if i is odd. Then, we'll use list comprehension to add prefix hi, to each string, present in the list. We get list that we created as output. If we want to convert string to list, such that each character of the string becomes one element in the list, then we can pass that string in list method. Notice. In this example, we pass a string in list method, and then print it. And as output, we'll get list of all characters present in the method. Now, we'll learn about a inbuilt function dir. This function, is used to list of all the class methods, using class name, or object of that class. Here we'll print list of methods of int class. As output we'll get list of all the methods present in integer class. Notice some methods are having double underscore as prefix, these are some special methods, that we'll discuss later. Currently we are only concerned with methods which don't start with double underscore. Now, we'll make a list of function which does not contains double underscore in their name. First we'll see for integer, you can either pass int class name in dir method, or, pass any integer object directly. Then we'll see class methods for list and string. Notice, string class have many methods, some which we discussed, for rest of the method, you can find information about them in documentation, or use built-in help function.